Hey guys, my name is Jessie Mew, and welcome back to another episode of Equinox. In the last episode, we played around with the beautiful heel blooms of the Tropex. Not only do they add a pretty interesting splash of light to our worlds, but once they're fully grown, they also burst into these tiny little healing seeds. Yeah, there we go, that one will literally burst right in front of us. So we have plenty of medicine for our little rainbow lizards to use. In fact, these seeds should work exactly the same as the fruits that we have in the jungle. So if any of our creatures get sick, then we have plenty of ways to heal them. I was actually hoping that maybe we could take some of these heal blooms and build a little place inside the lush biome for them. I feel like they would look really, really good here with all the pink trees, too. But the game has also just received a brand new update, which added a brand new type of animal to the world. I think I mentioned it in the last episode that they were working on the dolphins for the tropics. So let's see if we can find them in here. Yes, there we go, the dolphin. And it looks like it actually evolves from the pike. We need to change the pike to the gray color, give them a diet of angelfish, and of course they need to live in a tropical biome. So the pike, that was that really, really big fish that we placed over here, right? You know, I almost want to say that it couldn't live in the tropics. Is that true? Okay, it looks like it's suitable in the tropical biome too. I must be thinking about something else. Maybe the salmon or something. So that means we should probably grab a whole new family of pike and place them down over here somewhere. I know we still have plenty of angelfish swimming around the ocean, so it shouldn't be too hard for them to find a few to eat. I'm a little bit worried to be honest though. I mean, if the pike are truly that aggressive, they might just completely devour every last one of these fish. And look how calm and peaceful they are right now. I just hate to think about disturbing them. It's what we have to do though. We need to get our hands on those dolphins, of course. So what do the pike require? We'll have to make sure that we have everything that they're going to need to. Well, it looks like there's nothing that we have to give them. We just have to make sure that they have those small fish to eat. So that means you should be very, very happy here. you like 100% environment factor. So I guess we'll place them in some of the deepest parts of the water. That should be close enough to the angelfish, right? Well, maybe we'll want to place them over here by the rocks then. I guess that'll give some of the fish some places to hide. Oh my gosh, did you see that? It's kind of hard to see because it's so dark, but all the fish just parted in a big circle around them. These poor guys want absolutely nothing to do with the pike, but I suppose you can't really blame them for that. At least that means it should be pretty easy for us to find the pike again. Right? You know, I probably should have grabbed that pike before I let it get away from me. We might have to wait until it's morning again so I can see those fish a little more easily. I guess instead, we'll go over to the lush biome to see if we can finish off the tropics here. I wanted to see if maybe we could spread some of the trees around in a circle, so we'll be extending the lush biome too, just leaving this tiny little tropical clearing for our heel blooms. Oh, and you know the other thing they added? I believe we can also now change the colors of our deer. Scout the deer, do you want to be the one who tests it out? Yes, there we go. Now we can finally change their color. I am super excited because I've always wanted to change the colors of the deer. I think something dark and mysterious would work best for them since they do live in the dark forest. So what do we have at our disposal? Oh my gosh, tons and tons of colors. Some more natural ones like beige and dark brown. Then we have lilac, mud green, pink, ruby red, golden cyan of course. So it seems like they're taking a little tip from the sheep too. But which one should we go with? Something dark for sure. I'm awfully curious about that lilac color, but I think that would probably work better up here maybe. If we could find them a good place to live with all of our purple trees. So instead, Scalp, maybe we should go with like dark brown or maybe even black. Ooh, that would work really good with those dark tomatoes that we have. Yeah, let's go with something really striking. We'll change them to pure black deer of darkness. Oh my gosh, you already had a baby? I had barely even clicked on it. Oh my gosh, wait a second. It looks like a little penny deer, you guys. 
Oh my heart, my little kitty has turned into a deer and she is frolicking around Equilinox right now. No, your name is going to be Penny. You are no vampire Vlad, you are my little Penny cat. Oh my gosh, she is so, so cute though. This was probably the best decision that we ever could have made. I am very, very happy right now. I want to say that the beavers were another one that we could change the colors of. Ryan Egg, I guess you're going to be the one that we test. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that the beavers were given colors too. Though to be honest, I can't really remember if they had colors before or not. So what can we change the beavers into? Okay, I think that might actually be the exact same list. Well, they have light blue instead of cyan, but it's still pretty much the same color. So what should we change the beavers to over here? We actually have two different groups of beavers. I think. Oh, there you are. It looks like maybe Curly's dam may have withered away, and that's probably because you keep cutting down all the trees over here, huh? Are you the last beaver left? Uh-oh. I wonder if maybe we should place a few more trees over here then. Maybe he just doesn't have enough to work with to make a brand new den. Or a brand new dam, rather. I could have sworn that we placed a few more of those wobbly trees over here, though. He must just be cutting them down way, way too fast. So I guess we'll go ahead and place a few more in here then. Oh, and did we complete another task? I wonder if that was this one, the banana farmer. Yeah, that's the first time that we've completed that one. Excellent. So that one repeats too, and we'll be getting plenty of points for it. Oh my gosh, and I just realized we have over 4 million of these points to use now. All right, so we should probably go a little bit more extravagant on this. If we're going to change Curly's color and our other beavers too, let's pick one of the most expensive colors on the list. You, Mr. Curly. We're going to let you be our ruby red beavers. I don't know, that one looks pretty interesting. I know it's not really the most expensive one on the list, but a ruby red beaver, that would look pretty gorgeous. Let's see how it ends up looking. And then of course we'll go ahead and place some of those wobbly trees back in few more wobbly trees to hopefully help you build a nice big dam for your family. We'll come back to you in a little while to see if you've made any progress. And for now, let's go back to you, Ryan Egg, who seems to be building a brand new dam for himself as well. Maybe we could change you into the gold beaver? That one was also very, very expensive. Yeah, the gold beaver, there you go. So we'll see if your family starts growing too. It actually looks like this is another lone beaver. Like, our beavers are unfortunately really, really struggling now. Did they chop down all the trees up here as well? Well, that's no good. Let's go ahead and find some more of those sycamore trees then. I think that's what we have growing over here. Yeah, nice big sycamore tree forest for all of our deer. They must be missing their cover of trees. Oh, my beautiful penny deer. Look at you. All fully grown now. She is so pretty. She's the only one of the black deer right now, too. Oh my gosh, I didn't just realized. Scout is part of her family. How fitting is that? Time and time again, it seems like Cattails is leaving its mark on this world, too. And speaking of which, how is Griffin's family doing? They're all still hopping around here, golden as can be. It looks like their happiness might be down a little bit, though. Yeah, the environment is starting to get pretty poor over here. We haven't exactly focused on this part of the land in a very, very long time, so it's probably because there's not very much grass over here anymore. Let's go ahead and just place a few more of these grass tufts down. Well, there we go. Look what a difference that made. After the game auto saves here, we'll place down a few more and really help this place look green. Are you feeling better now? Let's see. Not really, to be honest. I guess the environment went up a little bit, but maybe we need to place down some more flowers or something. It seems like this particular part of the land is very, very bare. So how about some little daisies? And I guess we could probably place some tulips in here too. I think those were also pretty good for the hills. Yeah, I think it's really starting to go up now. Part of the problem is that Bridget over here is very close to the end of her lifespan, but the others are looking a little bit better too. Alright, so I think Griffin's family is going to survive just fine. And now it's not quite so hard for us to pick out those pike anymore. Yeah, you are looking mighty, mighty vicious in that pool. 
It looks like their diet is the royal grandma, though. Oh, that's a little bit unfortunate. We want you to go after these angelfish. They are so disturbing this pond, though. I feel so bad for all these fish. I'm sorry, but pretty soon you'll have some dolphins to play with. Not that that's going to be too good for our fish either, because I'd imagine they're also going to be eating the small fish. Alright, so we need to make sure that we change the color over to gray, I believe. Hopefully that's not going to be too difficult. Yeah, 42,000 points. I think we can handle that. Now aside from that, what else was there? Yeah, the diet of angelfish and the tropical biome is covered. So literally all we need you to do is just munch on a few of these fish over here and have a few of those great babies too. So that's probably going to take a little while to finish. Let's see if we can check up on some of our other animals now. Like maybe the eagles over here. Oh my gosh. Oh, what have you done? Look at all of that meat. Oh, well, on the plus side, it looks like they still have plenty of prey to go after. I think our meerkats have really done the trick. Not only can they hide away inside their burrows, but it seems like they're distracting them from the bunnies too. So at least we know that our eagles are definitely, definitely, definitely not going to go hungry. They are always going to have at least some sort of prey to catch. And in the process, it also looks like our pirates are doing okay too. We now have two groups of these guinea pigs living side by side. And neither of them seem to be in any trouble of going extinct. And speaking of which, how are our bluebell pack doing up here? Looks like our wolves are still alive. So we should probably start changing your fur straight over to the ice blue color. Let's pick out the youngest of the bunch. There's no little babies hopping around here, right? Yeah, looks like we have fully grown wolves. This one is out pretty far though, Diego. He must be searching for some more food to bring back to his family. So we're going to go ahead and use you to bring it all the way up to the tippity top of light bloom. Pretty soon our bluebell pack is going to be back in action again. And how about our camels? You guys are doing just fine. Yep, it looks like everything is well inside the desert biome. Aside from that never-ending war between our camels, of course. The never-ending spinning war. So let's go back to our lush biome now. We want things that are going to spread the lush biome for us, and of course the best place to start is probably the grass. So we'll just bring it as close to the mountains as we can. Just wrap it all the way around the sand here until it meets on the other side. But actually it looks like some of the doves are getting curious. Did you see that? It looked like some of them were flying over here to inspect the sands. You're still happy over here, right? Yeah, it looks like the doves are still okay. I'm sure that their environment isn't going to be the best over here in the tropics. But the sheep should be okay too, right? Yeah, it looks like they're kind of living on the cusp here. I'm sure Lightning will be fine though. With a name like that, she'll probably love zipping through the sands. So what else would help us spread this biome quickly? Maybe the primroses too? Not the trees just yet though. Yeah, the suitable biome isn't the greatest, but I think they're still going to be able to survive here. Oh, another strange rabbit has been born. <gasps> Is it that a tiny blue bunny? <gasps> oh, Kenya the tiny blue bunny? Oh my gosh, look at that striking color. Wait a second, we have to make sure that we are definitely selective breeding you. I definitely want to see more of those blue bunnies here. Oh, that is so gorgeous. Almost as gorgeous as our beautiful black and white deer over in the forest. Do we still only have... Oh no, there we go. We have two of these black and white deer now. Oh, and Penny, you're already getting close to the end of your lifespan. It looks like you must have had a daughter named Cookie, though. So let's make sure that we are definitely selective breeding you too. We don't want to accidentally lose all of our beautiful new deer. I guess we could probably do the same for you too, Cookie. And hopefully next time we come here, every last one of them are going to have that color. Now, did any of our beavers have babies? Looks like you did. Queen Bee, but you guys are definitely not gold. I wonder if Ryan Egg actually passed away before he could have any babies. That's a little bit unfortunate. I guess Queen Bee is going to have to be the one who gives us our gold beavers after all. So we'll go ahead and purchase that again. Somehow we have already spent about 1 million of these points. So despite the riches that we have, it is going very, very quickly. 
Now, are the pike ready for us to evolve yet? It looks like you guys are definitely gray. Oh, but the tropical biome isn't good enough. Well, over here, it seems to be all right. Let's go ahead and start evolving you now, and hopefully you'll stay in the right area. You're right down here with all the coral and stuff. That seems to be where it's the strongest. But when they go chasing the fish all the way up to the edge of the water here, it doesn't exactly work in our favor. I'm sure eventually it's going to work, though. It just may take a little bit longer than we hoped for. Oh, no. Oh, Benny has passed away. Maybe I shouldn't have changed the name. That is going to break my heart. Well, Penny is going to watch over all of you dear very, very closely. She is your spirit guide now. Oh, maybe it's not going to take as long as I thought? Yes, there's our very first dolphin. Oh my gosh. Let's see if we can get them on the screen while we're reading about them. This aquatic mammal loves living in large, deep areas of water where it has lots of space to swim around. When happy, adult dolphins will dive in and out of the water to show their joy. Oh my gosh, look at this little thing. I wonder if this water is going to be deep enough for them? It doesn't look like we need anything special to keep them happy either. We just need to make sure that they have something to eat. Maybe? Oh, maybe they won't be eating our fish. That's a little bit surprising. Well, let's go ahead and grab you, and we'll place you right in the deepest parts of the ocean, just like our pike. So how are you doing down here? Oh, lady the dolphin. Can we change your colors around too? Yes, excellent. So we can change you to some pretty striking colors as well. You could be a pink dolphin. You could be a neon green dolphin. Oh my gosh, we would never have to worry about losing you then. The lilac is interesting though. Dark purple too, of course, for the dark forest. But I think I'm going to go with the lilac dolphin for now. Lady the Lilac Dolphin and her little lilac family. I can't wait until she grows up and we can see her leaping out of the water. That is going to be super fun. Maybe we should actually consider spreading the tropical biome a little bit more further this way. I am a bit worried that our dolphin is going to swim out of its reach. I just remembered too. Yeah, there was still another type of fish that we had to evolve from the angel fish. That's actually why we changed their color to this really striking pink. So they actually need a nearby species of coral that's a neon blue. So I guess this is our chance right here. If we could find the coral again, we'll place a new bunch of them down right over here where the angelfish live. Whoops. It looks like I think they need shells. So we'll probably have to spread a few of them over here as well. But for now, hopefully you can survive. We'll change you over to the neon blue color right away. There we go. And yeah, let's see if we can find some of those shells too. Otherwise, this coral is never going to last. We could probably spread the shells as far as up here, since this is where the tropical biome is touching as well. Yeah, this could be a whole different section of coral, I guess. A whole new coral family. Oh, do I already see one growing down here? Yes, the neon blue color, so that means any one of you fish should be able to evolve us the neon fish next. Excellent, so how many more of these animals do we have to unlock? Wait, was that actually it? Neon fish, and then the jellyfish, and we get that for the fish mastery task. So we might actually have our very last animal in Equilinox. At least right now until more are added later, because I'm pretty sure he's still working on the pandas. It does sound like development is probably winding down for this game, though. If you guys have been following Thin Matrix, he has mentioned that he wants to move on to a different project soon. So this might surely be some of the last animals that we ever unlock. So I guess let's make sure that we make it count. And I think it also said that we unlocked the on your pike task. Excellent. That actually unlocks us two more tasks. Hungry fish and fish mastery. Well, the hungry fish one is already done. We can claim that one too. But as for fish mastery, for some reason I thought we already had them unlocked. I guess not. And it looks like we still have plenty more to go before we have this complete. Of course, we need the neon fish to evolve first. But maybe we should think about placing another group of royal grandmas in the world? Another group of clownfish... And did that say that our angelfish died? Oh no, I think that might be the case. And I also don't see that neon blue coral. Oh, there it is! Blending in with all of these crazy colored fish too. Oh my gosh! 
Oh, our dolphin. Oh, leaping out of the water. That is so cool. And do I see your little lilac baby here? Oh, that is amazing. Flint the lilac dolphin. Yep, I am definitely loving the dolphins so far. All right, so let's go back to our angelfish right here. You can go ahead and finish evolving the neon fish for us. And then we'll see if we can place a few more different types of fish inside here too. It might just be because these pike are actually eating them all too fast. Maybe that's why we don't have enough anymore. So one more group of these royal grandmas right about here. Another group of clownfish right here on the edge. And there's our very first neon fish. A very brightly colored tropical fish. This animal has a very rare coloring with bright neon colors that aren't often seen elsewhere in Equilinox. It's also relatively easy to genetically modify this fish to have other neon colors, allowing for a large range of various brightly colored fish. Excellent, so we could actually change their colors so they don't blend in quite so well with the angel fish. Like they do right now, of course. We need shells and coral, both of which work very well together, so I know we definitely have enough here. And that seems to be it. So let's go ahead and grab you if we can. We'll have to scoot in between all of these other fish, of course. And then place you down right here next to the angel fish. Alright, so what sort of colors can we give to you? Let's see. Oh, how gorgeous is that? An entire rainbow of colors. Well, what one haven't we really chosen yet? I know a lot of our fish are these kind of blue colors and the pink, so maybe something like neon yellow would be an interesting change. Yeah, let's go ahead with neon yellow, and we'll see how that looks on the fish. All of these changes and I have gotten completely distracted time and time again from our project over here. So at the very least, I suppose we could spread a couple of the trees around here, but then I think we're going to have to save this for the next episode. So what trees would work best in this ring? It's not exactly the strongest lush biome yet, so we'll have to find one that isn't too picky. These are actually the pink trees. Even though they look very, very red, that must have been so we could evolve the red trees before. Yet yeah, they don't need anything special. So let's go ahead and change this over to spreads the lush biome again. And we'll place these pink trees right here on our lush ring. Yeah, over here is definitely much, much weaker. Maybe we could actually place a few mushrooms in there then? I think it was the red trees that really hate the mushrooms, so we'll have to be super careful, of course. But if we can do this right... Oh, it doesn't look like the mushrooms actually spread the lush biome. All right. I guess red trees it is then. Yeah, it turns out they're a little bit happier down here anyways. So you can go ahead and fill this space for us. The cherry trees would be pretty gorgeous to have around here too, and they would shelter this clearing pretty well. So it would be hard for anybody nefarious to sneak in and try to get their hands on the heel blooms. Let's see... We need mushrooms, though, in the rocks and stones. So let's select the lives in the lush biome instead, and we'll place a few of these tall mushrooms right over here on the side if we can. Wait a second, what was its like species? Oh, it likes stones too, excellent. So that means we just have to spread a couple of these tiny little pebbles all around between the grasses. Honestly, we should probably just try to place a couple more tufts of grass over here too, just to give it a little bit more of a fighting chance. There we go, it's looking much, much better now. So a couple of those tall mushrooms, and now we should finally be able to place down one of our cherry trees. I guess it's a little bit risky, but I think it'll survive. It'll help strengthen the land as it grows. Now the question is, can we plant any of those heel blooms over here yet? I'm not sure if the tropical biome is going to be quite strong enough. Let's see what it thinks of this land right now. Yeah, it's at about 50%, so it is once again very, very risky. But I guess if we place one right over here, maybe that will do the trick. One lone heal bloom. One lone healing flower in the middle of all of this lush biome. This could be like our little Tower of Rapunzel. And I guess all of the lizards that we place here would be like the skull. So what animal would be good here for actually representing Rapunzel? Let me know if you guys can think of any good ideas. As we end up the episode here, let's go chicken and our deer, of course. My beautiful penny deer. You guys are looking as gorgeous as ever. I'm a little bit surprised that it's not taking over all of the deer, though. These deer over here are still that pale normal color that we had before. 
So Texas, if we could actually selective breed you too, maybe next time we visit we'll see all of the dark deer. Oh, and look at you. It looks like we finally have one of those beautiful golden beavers. Again, not all of the beavers are gold. It's very, very interesting. Usually these special colors take over much more quickly. How about the bunnies over here? Oh, I almost forgot about you. Now we can see you in the sun and you look gorgeous. Yeah, again, let's make sure that we selective breed you. Gotta make sure that that color is staying strong. And our ruby red beaver never had a BB? Yeah, I think it's because of the lack of trees. It's almost like the beavers are cutting down the trees before they can even get wood from them. Because I don't see a single stick in the ground over here. A single stick in the water. So Curly, we're going to have to figure out a good way to save your family as well. But at least our dolphins are chewing absolutely fine. Oh my gosh, look how many of them are jumping out of the water here. They are having the time of their lives, and that beautiful lilac color is perfect. So in the next episode, I guess we'll see if we can unlock the jellyfish, which is our very final animal. But I also want to check out the creative mode that was added to the game too. So if you guys have any ideas for interesting themes that we could use for our creative world, then feel free to let me know. But for now, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye guys!